earth signs virgo taurus capricorn let's take a look and see what's going on with you guys in the next seven days okay let's see what's the energy of the earth signs over the next seven days all right what's going on with virgo taurus capricorn nervous all right you are someone's nervous over these next seven days and a headache oh. <laughs> so virgo taurus capricorn there's like a situation where you're going to be nervous um, something could be a bit stressful. Maybe you're worried about something or this is someone around you. So let's see. What's the energy of Virgo Taurus Capricorn going into this week? You got the Two of Cups with the Sun. Okay. Maybe you and someone get on the same page and there's like a happy ending here. All right. But let's see. Or someone's worried about that. All right. Let's see. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What's the energy going into the next seven days? Three of Cups. This is hanging out with friends, celebrating, having fun. There could be some type of uh, party or something that you guys go to or you're invited to. Okay, let's see what else here. Seven of coins. So some of you could be going out, hooking up with some friends. Um, now, this could also be you investing your time into something that you love to do. Okay. Um, with the seven of coins, this is somebody who's investing into something that they expect growth and and um, the traditional seven of coins is someone thinking about their investment, thinking about where they want to, you know, whether they're going to get the outcome that they want if they invest in this. But I feel like you do, um, Earth sign, okay? But with this three of cups, I want to see maybe you're thinking about investing in a situation that is coming back around to you. The Three of Cups could be you reuniting with friends. Okay, there could be a friend that wants to come together and, and hang with you and spend time. And maybe you're thinking about that this week, Earth Signs. Maybe you're thinking about whether you should bring this friend back into your life, okay? King of Swords in reverse, okay? This could be an air sign, a water sign as well. Um, but the King of Swords is in reverse is a liar. So you may feel that someone is a liar you may feel like someone manipulated a situation with you. And I think you're kind of looking at whether you want to deal with this person. All right. The eight of wands. So there's some communication that's coming in. Uh, Earth signs. I don't think that you're the one that's nervous, though. You may be the one with the headache, though. There's something I feel like you just don't care about listening to. What's this eight of wands in reference to? The king of cups. Okay. This is dealing with someone, you know, um, someone's feelings someone could be wanting to express their feelings but you feel like this person is a liar unless some of you are dealing with two people at our uh, air sign and a water sign or or someone with those placements okay so some of you could be having communication coming in from two people a lion ass air sign or somebody that's just a liar or this king of cups what's the energy of this king of cups what's the energy of this king of cups here the five of coins. So they are in lack or there's something going on with this person where they may have mishandled some money or they're codependent. This person could overindulge in something. This king of cups here has um, has his little liquor bottle right there next to the um, pool. So this person could live a lavish life or something like that. You know, I don't know. But yeah, he looked like he eat very well here. Somebody could like cigars. Someone could have like a goatee, like beard here. And someone could also wear glasses. The one with the glasses may be the lion ass person here too. If it's not one person, it could just be one person that's just a liar that wants to communicate themselves. They want to come in as this king of cups now. But this king of cups has been in the five of coins. So I don't know if they're struggling with money or health issues. What's this five of coins here? This could also be a king of cups that left you out in the cold. Okay, the hang, the, the uh, hangman. Pisces energy. Yeah, this person is feeling stuck or they're trying to they're trying to get you to see a situation differently or they're starting to see a situation differently. Why what is it that they're trying to see here? Judgment in reverse. Okay, because it's kind of flipped up, right? So this person here may have made a bad decision. They may be looking at their bad choice, their poor choice, because it's like it's, they're 
they're feeling um, left out or they're feeling like they miss out on an opportunity or someone's feeling like that this week. And they're going to start to see that they use poor judgment when it came to you or another situation. Tell me about this liar, though. Somebody's a liar or a, or a mental like manipulator here. I cannot answer that right now. What is, I got distractions in um Okay, I'm not answering it. All right. What's this here? The sun card. So so something's being revealed here about someone this king of sword in reverse. This person who makes illogical, irrational decisions, plays mind games. This is someone who thinks that they can outsmart other people here. Okay, so something's being revealed about this person. They could be a Leo here. What is this? What was this lie pertaining to? Because it looks like they're either coming to tell you a lie or they've already told you a lie. And you're trying to see, you know, do I trust this? Can I trust this person? Or something like that. The Ace of Wands, they could have lied about um, having a new beginning here with someone. Or they could have been lying about who they were entertaining here with the Ace of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands? The Hermit with the Ten of Cups. So this could have been someone who was lying about a marriage or maybe why they went into it like ghosted or went into solitude here. Hmm. This Ten of Cups could be a family or this person could have been lying about their feelings. You know, I feel like this could have been someone who um, the Ten of Cups is like emotional fulfillment and happiness. Or this could be a family. There's like a lot of people on here. So somebody could have lied about a family situation. Someone could have ghosted you for a family or something like that. Tell me more about this King of Swords in reverse. What do they want with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? Or you have a family with this person. And this person could have been dealing with some other people. So now they're wanting to come back around here. Okay, someone could be a cancer. Yeah, and I feel like they're they're being blocked off. I feel like I'm getting energetically blocked off um, because whoever this is is coming back towards you. It's like they want to have some type of success with you, with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this person may even feel that it's faded for them to come back into your life. But um, this could be the same person that's left out in the cold, or you have options here. With the Two of Swords, you got a choice to make here, uh, Earth Sign. Tell me more about this Two of Swords. Yep, the Nine of Wands. Somebody here, I feel like this is you now. At first I thought it wasn't you. You may be a little nervous because you're trying to decide exactly what to do. Like, this person is coming back around. It looks like another person is coming back around. You guys have like two choices or options that are coming back around. If it's for some of you, it's two. For some of you, you're just trying to decide if this person is going to still be a damn headache or... or are they worth you reuniting with? Four coins. So I see you guys holding back from someone. What's the four coins? I feel like you're pulling back your energy because you don't, you're like overloaded. You got a lot of things on your mind. You feel like you, for some of you, uh, Earth signs, you got enough on your plate. And so you may just withdraw and detached from everybody you might you just you may not even want to be bothered there's a devil capricorn energy yeah there's a man with two two women that he's sitting with somebody here has two people here that they're trying to to juggle here or make a decision about all right i haven't even gotten to uh, um earth signs let me keep going i don't got wrapped up in this here Let's see what's going on. What's the tea around you guys this week? Let's let's just go there. What's the tea around earth signs in the next seven days? Scarcity tactics. This is someone trying to force you to do something that they want. Someone could be using divination as well, whether it's a tarot reading or if they're using some type of spirituality. Yeah, somebody's definitely curious about you. You can put it back though because it didn't flip over. But I feel like somebody's trying to intimidate you or 
I don't know, try to use some type of scarcity tactic to get what they want from you. With it coming out next to divination abuser, this could be someone who tries to manipulate you um, spiritually to choose them as well. All right, somebody's coming in kissing ass. All right, what's the tea around the earth signs? Yeah, you're moving on. Thank you. Next, so some of you are making a decision that no matter who this is that's coming towards you, you're running to try to avoid a disaster here with someone. Someone is trying to find out more about you, or there's somebody that's running to go like dig some dirt on you. I don't know why who they're going to tell it to though. Whoever this is, somebody's curious about you, and they be maybe trying to get people to, you know, get information on you. Earth signs. Yeah, somebody's thinking about you though. Somebody's curious about what's going on with you. They're thinking long and hard. Or this is you that's reflecting on someone who pulls up on you. I feel like somebody um, comes out of the blue on you, um, Earth signs. I really do. Yep, somebody in your business, a closer look, nosy up in your business, a stalker. Somebody who has been watching you for quite a while is about to approach you guys. Yeah, this person has been trying to block some things for you. I feel like this is like a person that wants to, that is interested in you, whether you're with this person or been with this person before. Somebody may try to use money to try to get your attention to. This could be somebody who is a hustler but it's like they're waiting for the right time earth sign to approach you okay so i feel like yeah for some of you yep this is a love triangle third party multiple lovers and choices yep somebody is um either interested in you being there you know their other person they want to put you in a third party or somebody here who may have had you in one already is now coming back around or you just need to be careful about somebody that's trying to put you in one, period. You got choices, though. Now, this is a woman with two men, see? And the other card, there was a man with two women. So, there could be multiple people out here that are just, you know, spreading themselves thin. Earth signs, you have surrendered to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Some of you could really be, you know working a lot making that money you know making it rain hustling doing what you got to do but you're being told in some cases in your life that you don't have to push so hard okay that that you need to go with the flow of things so maybe some of you are just really focused on your money you're leaving these other situations alone you know that there are people that are trying to get you in third parties you know that there's someone stalking you you're trying to move on from that yep somebody here is obsessively thinking about you somebody wants to tempt you though um, earth signs or somebody if you're in a relationship somebody could be trying to tempt you or your partner here okay so it's saying if you're obsessing about a person or a situation turn the dilemma over to spirit doing so will help you help bring you clarity or even solve the problem i feel like something becomes too much for you to bear and i feel like you just kind of pull back your energy from everything this week so that you could just focus on yourself and i do feel like you are letting a situation play out on its own you're not going to try to force it even though i feel like someone else may be trying to you know strategize on how to get get with you or get you back one or the other but somebody here you know is a fucking oh sorry somebody you here know somebody here earth signs you know is a liar and a manipulator I am hearing Kendrick Lamar, master manipulator. <laughs> oh, somebody could be a Gemini or a Scorpio. Okay. And surrender to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time for recreation and rejuvenation. I really don't feel like I need to go into your love segment. I feel like we've kind of covered it. There's a love triangle going on here, um, Earth Size. Or somebody's trying to get you caught up in one this week. You do have a destined partnership with someone. So someone could be returning um, or you are meeting someone new. Okay, there's stability. It says this relationship can stand the test of time. And you, if, But firm boundaries are needed now. So far, firm boundaries may be needed when it comes to someone who you're currently with. Or someone who may be returning back to your life. Um, or trying to re-enter your life. You're going to have to set firm boundaries with someone. Um, especially if, if it's an ex or your person needs to do this. 
because I do see there being third party or multiple lovers in this situation. And if you're not down for that, then you're going to have to set some firm boundaries with someone and let them know what it is and what it ain't. And for some of you are not, you're not going to even do that because you feel like this person should already know. So you should be, you might be moving on from somebody who, who make it seem like they don't know what to do or how to choose or none of that. You, you let, you're letting that go. All right. But you do have chemistry here with someone. All right. You do have um, a bond with someone you either dealing with now or this is someone that's coming in. There's a situation that's going to require forgiveness here. Forgiving yourself and another, another will help you to move forward. So this week, you're setting firm boundaries with someone, whether you're with this person or not. Or you could be going through a breakup and you guys just decide, you know what? I forgive this. I let it go. And then you guys move into another phase where either you move on with who you're currently with, you know, with somebody. Or, you know... You go out alone, you focus on your money, and then somebody else comes in. However it plays out for you, Earth signs, I see forgiveness and boundaries being set when it comes to a particular person. So before I go, let's get some advice here for the Earth signs. You are the Empress and Emperor. Stand in your power and take control of this. So there's a situation that has to be dealt with, okay? I'm, I'm really feeling that there are multiple people involved and someone needs to set boundaries with people from the past or even family because the Ten of Cups came out. So somebody needs to stand in their power or there's a couple here that need to get some things straightened out if, and if they're going to be together. Okay, for some of you, you know you're settling, so you're you're releasing a situation. You're not even going to try to fix it here. Don't take their word for it. Get proof. A lot of you have already gotten the proof that you need regarding um, someone who's been lying to you. And you know that you're settling if you deal with this person. So some of you are going to go ahead and move on. Yep, it's coming out again. Set boundaries with people who are inconsistent. It's a sign of confusion. And yeah, somebody's confused. They don't know who... To be with, they still may not know. So this person could be in and out, set boundaries, and put their ass on the other side of the door. Because you deserve better. You're the empress. You're the emperor. They want you to act like a karmic. And you're not trying to be, you're not trying to go there. That's not who you are. You are the empress and the emperor. You're not a karmic. So don't let this person um, cause you to go backwards, okay? Because it's not an L, it's a lesson. And I'm going to stop right here for the uh, earth signs. I hope this re resonates with you. I hope you've gotten something out of this message. Um, if, it, if you did, leave it in the comments. And don't forget to hit that like button, guys. And I'll see you on next week.